It's time for Mavs News with Jay Sinks, Soraya Taylor, Levi Stropko, and Zane Trulak. And now here's Jay Sinks. Welcome to Mavs News. This week's blue ticket winners are, for kindergarten through second grade, Mason Harris, Ali Zitting, and Lakota Beringer. For third through fifth grade, Annabelle Griffith, Jackson Dinsmore, and Justin Walters. And now, with People of Norwood, here's Soraya Taylor. On this week's People of Norwood, we meet our new high school English teacher, Miss Tuttle. I am a native Oklahoman, so I was born and raised in Oklahoma, um, went to high school in southern Indiana, and then I went back to Oklahoma for college, and I also studied in Texas for a while. I came to Telluride 11 years ago, and I didn't even know about Norwood. And then a few years in, I found out that there, um, there was Norwood and that this was a beautiful place with um, open skies and horses and everything else that reminded me of home. I would say the one word that best describes me is organized. Um, it's, it's a value that I operate by. It's what I teach my daughter and it's the way that I run my life. I have a very full life and I feel like the way that I get everything done is to be super organized. What I like to do for fun, well I am a reader, that's probably not um, a big secret. I also have horses. My family breeds and shows horses and so my equines mean a lot to me. And I have two dogs. Um, my daughter and I like to travel and I like to be out in nature too. What I was like as a student was, um, I was a lot like I am now as a teacher. I was really organized, I was really focused, I wanted to know what I needed to do um, to be successful. I, I was at my desk reading. Um, I had a lot of friends and I was social, but I, I took school really seriously always and I loved school. What led me to become a teacher was my senior English teacher, Mrs. Schwinn. She was super hard. Um, it was a really rigorous year. We read so much in Brit Lit and she really challenged us and I was so inspired by everything that we did that I just couldn't get enough of English and reading and writing. So I'm really grateful to be here. I think this is a really special thing to be teaching novel studies and literature and composition with Norwood students. So I'd say that's pretty special. Now, with a report about new state graduation requirements, here's Levi Stropko. The Colorado Department of Education recently passed new regulations that established new high school graduation requirements. We asked Mr. Williams to tell us about these new graduation requirements and who will be affected by them. You have to have certain scores in math and certain scores in English on each of these tests in order to get the qualifications to get a diploma. Okay. Our 10th grade is the first class that's going to have to hit these marks uh, by their senior year and every class after them has to hit these marks in order to receive a diploma from Norwood School but more importantly and this is what I want to make sure everybody understands this is not a Norwood decision this is a state of Colorado decision so you can't go shop schools in the state looking for a school that's not doing this they're all doing this so we have a menu this is the menu this is, comes from the state of Colorado and on that menu are a whole bunch of different options they're all based in math and English scores. These are test-based scores. One of the, so we get to pick as a school which ones on this menu we want to use. Um, ACT, SAT, AccuPlacer, um, ASVAB. I don't think it's bad. I think it's great, actually. Uh, we want to produce people that know how to read and write. <laughs> we want to produce people that know how to do basic arithmetic, because these standards aren't super high. They're really not high at all, actually. And uh, so we want to make sure our kids at least meet these standards that the state is asking for in math and English uh, to be able to go on and take care of business and get their diplomas. And we're having a meeting next week. And I've, at, I've already sent a letter home to every kid who's in jeopardy of not receiving a diploma in the 8th and ninth grade, or ninth and 10th grade, I'm sorry, to their parents. And we're asking them to come to a meeting at six o'clock at night to have a conversation about how we can collectively make this work. This isn't a school problem. This isn't a student problem. This is a, a, a full problem that involves everybody. Parents, students, teachers, administrators, community. The standards to get a diploma are not the same standards to even get into college. 
I mean, just the standard to get a diploma is much lower than a standard just to get into college, which is lower than a standard to get a scholarship. So these aren't right, really hard things to do. And what I'm asking students to do is care. They need to start caring about their own education because if they don't have a diploma from high school, I have no idea what they're going to do when they walk out here because I can't imagine anybody hiring them, let alone go to college. Can't go to college. Can't go in the military. Can't go to trade school. So I don't know what's going to happen. So let's work together and let's get this going so we can all get diplomas, right? Here are this week's activities. Tuesday, Lincoln Tech will be visiting from 3 to 3.45 p.m. in Mrs. Thomas's room. This is for all juniors and interested seniors. Wednesday, there is a parent PSAT meeting from 6 to 7 p.m. Friday, there is no school for students and staff, and it's a four-day weekend because of Labor Day on Monday. Next week, because of Labor Day, we will attend school Tuesday through Friday. And now, here is Zane Trulock with the Sport Report. Tuesday, the middle school volleyball team faced the Ridgeway Demons at home at 4 p.m. Thursday, the high school volleyball team will face the Plateau Valley Cowboys in Colburn at 4 p.m. Saturday, the high school volleyball team will have a tournament at Gunnison beginning at 9 a.m. Also on Saturday, the high school football team plays the Plateau Valley Cowboys beginning at 1 p.m. in Plateau Valley. Are you interested in bowling? The Montrose Youth Bowling League is beginning Saturday, September 8th at the Rose Bowl in Montrose. The Youth League is open to grades K-12. through For information, contact Mr. Lawrence or visit MontroseYouthBowling.com. Also, Mr. Lawrence is putting together a team to compete in a high school bowling league. We need at least five players to form a team. Players would receive a high school letter just like other sports. If you would be interested in bowling on a competitive high school team from October through February, please contact Mr. Lawrence. That's the Sport Report. Here's this week's lunch menu. Monday, homemade tomato soup. Tuesday, lasagna. Wednesday, chicken fajitas. Thursday, hot browns. With every meal, there is always salad bar, fruit, and milk. And that's the news for the week of August 27. Thanks for watching. See you next week.